Welcome back to another sec segment of Tips and Tricks. And today we're going to talk about GPS mapping. Uh, we're going to talk about our Humminbird Electronics and how using a product like the Lake Master Maps, how it actually operates on the unit. Uh, it does not save waypoints, routes, and tracks to the map. It's actually inside our unit when we go to a mapping screen, we have a map is basically our background with an overlay that displays the GPS data. So we have our Humminbird unit and we go to a mapping screen. It's basically going to show you a lake map similar to this paper map as a background. If you look, we've got this clear plastic sheet we're going to use for example. That's basically the same thing the GPS data is. So for example, if we're traveling down the lake, we're going to show it in our black Sharpie here, just for example, and we're traveling down the lake and we're, we're running the lake, we're either going to have a breadcrumb trail as a dash or we're going to have a solid line if you set it up. And if we travel around that lake, that solid line, it's not being drawn on the map, it's actually being drawn on the overlay, just like we have here. So we can remove the map and we still see the line. We put our map back and we still see that same black line there. Now for example, you, if you're down here and we're fishing in this big cove here and we want to mark a waypoint on this point here. So we set our waypoint here, we'll do it as a red dot, and we set another one on this, way, on this point and we go in and we set another one on this point and we're going to mark this offshore structure here. If we remove that map, those waypoints are still showing up here. If you can see the red dots and our black track line is just the same thing that our unit's doing, but it's doing it with a map as the background. So your GPS data is recorded on the foreground. Your map is basically the, the background of the unit. So we put it back in here and our waypoints are going to show up on that map. That's basically how GPS mapping works. Product like Lake Master here, you get a, you open it up, you get a card, an SD card that is inserted in the unit. You can take the map card out. You open your, you open your door and you just insert the map card in that card reader slot and your map will appear. That is basically a background. In the foreground the GPS data is going to be displayed on the on the unit. So you can take your map card in and out. Um, you can use different brands. If you're running two different units If you're running two different units, like networked, the map is only in the unit here. If you had another unit over here, you would need a map card for this unit and a map card for that unit. The map card data is not transferred between the two units. It's only in the unit here, and it basically, when you put it in, it creates a background for the GPS data to be written over so you can understand it, see it on the map, see what's coming ahead of you. Uh, you can, you can actually, in this unit, you can have two different card slots. You can have two different mapping cards. We've got a mapping card here in one slot. In the other slot, we have another mapping card. And you go into the unit under the navigation tab, and you can actually select the left reader or the right reader for whichever map you want. Uh, it's going to display that data as a background. I hope that helps you learn a little bit more about how GPS mapping works. Uh, it's a great tool, so you can actually see your boat position on the lake while you're moving around. There's one other suggestion that I would recommend. Uh, there's, there's, in the, in your navigation menu, there is a deal called chart orientation. They are preset to north reference, and if you look like this map here has an arrow, that is telling me that this is the north and the direction of travel. So, the if you were running this map and ran from here around to here, 
this map on your unit is going to just be displayed the exact same way in North Reference. One of the things you can do is actually use a chart orientation and do course up. This is going to be the top of your unit all the time. If you're running this way and we decide to turn here, the map is actually going to spin to maintain the, the top of the map as you go around here. And as you keep turning, it's going to turn and follow the direction that you're going. So that's a, that's a tip I like to use when I'm running uh, unfamiliar waters or just want to keep that map in correlation with what my surroundings are is use that chart orientation uh, to course up. That way it'll follow exactly, you'll be, whatever you're looking ahead of you is coming ahead of you. There's one other neat feature that Humminbird has built in now is called a vessel offset. What vessel offset does is you can set a speed, uh, say five mile an hour. The map is going to, your cursor is going to stay, we'll use our uh, clean sheet here. If our boat was in here, you'd have the boat icon right in the middle of the map. What vessel offset does is when you go above whatever speed threshold you set, above that speed it starts moving the boat down so you see more of the map above your boat that's right here is down lower in the screen so you see more of what's ahead of you. That's a neat feature that Humminbird has just added uh, with the latest software updates, you can download it from free from Humminbird.com. So, I hope that helps you learn a little bit more about mapping. Check out the great products from Lake Master. Uh, they do an excellent, excellent job of scanning what's in the water, what's underneath the water, the structure. Humminbird has some great features in GPS mapping. Our GPS receiver is one of the highest uh, receivers for standard equipment. We've got a 50 channel receiver that refreshes four times a second. So basically if you're coming down that lake one, two, three, four dots are put every second compared to a lot of other maps are just doing one every second. So if you got one per second your dots are going to be spaced out where Humminbird is putting four, eight, twelve, sixteen dots in a four second period there it is mapping your position a lot more often than the, than the competition. I hope that helps you out. Hope and get out and enjoy GPS mapping. And check out these great products from Humminbird and, and Lake Master. And hopefully they'll help you catch more fish. Thank you and tune in next time to another set of tips and tricks.